In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can optimize your Amazon sales page. Now, there are four places that you can make an impact, and we're going to deal with these in turn, but they are the title, the key product features, bullet points, the description, and the images. Before we look at these four, I want to talk to you about keyword research. Now, I'm not talking about being found in Google, but Amazon itself has got quite a sophisticated search system. And you need to make sure that your descriptions and all your text in your sales page actually has got lots of keywords in it so you can respond to it. Now, to do your research, there's a very easy way to do it. Um, all you need to do is to put a, your product uh, into the search and you'll get a whole series of options that drop down. And those are the sorts of keywords that you need to work with. Maybe try this with a number of different, very similar products to your own and you'll get lots of ideas for keywords. Put those into a list and then you've got to work out how you can naturally, in, in a sort of perfectly sort of normal English and not completely keyword stuff sort of way, get those into all the things you're going to be writing. Let's take a look then at titles. Uh, you have got 250 characters. Use them. So many people do not use the full length of their uh, title description, which is bonkers. Um, and make sure that you get your keywords in property properly and that you get your product and your main keyword right at the front. If you need to, use little hyphens to break up the text. It'll make it much easier to read. When it comes to bullet points, these are the key product features which are listed. Now, don't put in the dimensions and the weight. You can put that lower down in the main description. What you need to be doing is selling in this uh, in these bullet points and actually explaining the features. Now, you can say you know something about the the uh, the product feature and then make sure you say so that and then provide the benefit. And by doing that, you'll be selling. People will look at it and they'll understand the benefits to them of your product. Really important. Now, descriptions are a little bit uh, more complicated and you really need to get your copywriting skills out here. But you do have 2,000 characters to play with, so definitely make the most of these. Look at it as a mini sales page. And it, as such, it has to include all the main copywriting elements. Now, I've got a whole course on copywriting, but let me just remind you what these are. And this is the structure of the page you're going to have to put out. You need a strong headline, even in this description. You need to describe the problem that your product solves. You need to then explain why your product is the solution to that problem. Then you need to have some credibility. Maybe you can quote a review or two, or you can say, you know, we've got 1,500, you know, five-star reviews. Explain the benefits of your product again. Put these in bullet points if necessary. Social proof comes back again to the um, the, the reviews um, and what people think about your product. Make your offer state, you know, the, the, you know, explain that you're selling this and what the sales proposition is. Include the guarantee. Now, it, Amazon has the 30-day guarantee, which you have to sign up to whether you like it or not. Make a virtue of it. Say, I offer this guarantee, which of course you do because Amazon are backing you and will make sure that you do offer that guarantee. But definitely talk about it. Scarcity is slightly more difficult. You might be running an offer. You might say the numbers are limited. I don't know. You've got to be slightly careful. If you make a scarcity claim, it must be true. It must be accurate. And then finally, you must have a call to action. You must tell people at the bottom of your description to buy your product. Click on the buy now button and buy the product. Do have this call to action in. It's one of the most obvious things and so many people miss it. Now, in order to make your description look better, you can include a few HTML tags, uh, which I've put on the, uh, the, the screen here, and it will break up the text. If you don't do this, then you'll end up with a single heavy block of text, very difficult to read. And all, you only need three, and you, you need a paragraph break, a bold break, and then um, a single line break. I've put them here. Don't forget that you have an opening tag and a closing tag, and the difference between the two is this hyphen um, in it, and that closes the tag off. But do use them and experiment with them, and you'll see how much better uh, your description can look. Let's talk about images. Uh, you have nine images available to you. Use them. 
you can get images from your suppliers that's a great source or you can take your own but if you do take your own do make sure they are as good as possible one good way of checking checking out to see you know what what you need to achieve here and how to take the pictures how to make them look is to go and look at similar products uh, which are being offered by your competition uh, i recommend you use jpegs uh, but png files and gifs are okay as well Try to make sure your file sizes are at least 1,000 by 1,000 pixels. This will make them zoomable. And again, if people hover their cursor over, the bigger image comes up much more compelling and much more attractive. You want to make sure the images are simple, clean, and that the product fills the image. And if possible, take it on a white background because, again, this looks much cleaner and less cluttered. Now, I want you to do your research when you're putting all this together. Go and look at other good sales pages. Look at them objectively. Try and work out what you can learn from them. Go and look at other products similar to yours. Read their reviews, good and bad. Find out what elements are coming from this. If you do this, you'll find that your whole sales page pretty well writes itself. It's not difficult to do. Then you can take my Amazon FBA scorecard, which you've learned about earlier in this course, mark your own sales page how can you get your your marks higher you've got your own self-testing mechanism there it's quite useful i believe it's very useful so use it put it put in the the, the factors rank your own sales page and then work out what you have to do to improve it so that's it how to optimize your amazon sales page there's quite a lot in this but it's really really important if you're going to make a real impact and sell with your product on amazon this is one of the main things you have to get right